name is Brendan Salik, uh, one of the operations duty managers at JetBlue in Boston. On the market right now, there isn't really a product that's specifically designed to be used by operations centers at the specific airport. Um, there's lots of other uh, weather products, you know, there's radar, satellite, you can look at um, apps on your phone, but to be able to open up sort of like a all-in-one um, where we can see the aircraft, we can see the weather, we can see specifically to the ground here in Boston um, is hugely helpful. And to be able to have a team of meteorologists behind it that we can then talk to as well, um, something we haven't had before. We have the app open all the time um, in the operations center and then um, through our staff up in the tower, they have the app on their screens as well. So um, it's something we're always looking at, something we're always, you know, double checking, you know, even looking out the window and seeing, hey, I see a bunch of dark clouds coming towards us. Let me take a look at Climacell and see what they're saying, see what we can expect. I think we've had a couple instances over the winter where uh, maybe if it was snowing, but very light, um, the wasn't detected by the radar, that, but we're looking out the window and we're seeing, hey, it is snowing. Um, we're looking at the Climasol product and saying, yep, we agree, it is snowing, and I'm um, talking to the meteorologists too, so they're giving us a, a really good heads up of what's coming, what we're expecting. There's definitely a huge value in the now casting aspect of the software, um, so we can look at the timeline, we can break it down minute by minute, um, point by point on the map to say, you know, at this specific spot, in this specific timeline, what's now casting telling us? Is it telling us that it's going to be raining? Are we looking at a mixed precip? Um, how heavy of the precip are we looking at? Um, being able to get that information and then go into the software and bounce that information off the meteorologist versus what we're seeing outside um, was hugely helpful over the winter. Things we've seen in the product that have helped are things like the um, precip line. So if we're looking at um, a winter event where we're looking at mixed precipitation between rain, snow, um, freezing rain, sleet, um, having the climate cell product, being able to pull it up graphically on the map and see what's coming down to the minute um, can really help us plan any winter events, you know, de-icing, uh, help us plan should we push flights, should we hold them at the gates, or um, basically what we're up against for the next, you know, hour or so. Especially in the winter, throughput's always something we're looking at as far as de-icing. Um, you know, we, we have the set number of flights that we're able to de-ice within an hour, um, but if we have um, sort of a, a look at exactly what precip we're going to be dealing with, what we're, we're going to be spraying, whether it's um, light snow or mixed precip, we can make better decisions on how many flights we think we'll be able to handle. Um, departing within the set time frame. So we had a couple instances where either the snow was forecasted to start earlier than it did or uh, maybe the snow started later than it was forecasted to. So our preparations are things like, you know, getting our de-icing trucks staffed for certain times of the day to make sure that we're able to de-ice aircraft during, you know, the worst of what we're forecasting. Um, having a product like Climacell being able to talk to the meteorologists and say, you know, we really see this storm starting at 4 o'clock versus 2 o'clock, which is what some other forecasts are saying, um, can help save those resources for when we really need it, um, and also can help us make sure we plan our flights accordingly. Safety being a number one value, we want to keep our crew members safe for working outside, um, keep the aircraft safe and the customers as well. So, obviously, having a heads up of potential lightning on the field hugely helpful for how we're going to determine whether we're going to send everybody inside, how long we need to send everybody inside and close the ramp. And just getting any sort of minute to minute heads up could be the difference between, you know, making sure that we have everybody where they need to be um, if we do get late here on the field. The addition of tracking aircraft on the ground um, we think will be extremely helpful, especially with a um, tarmac alert tracking. So. Um, to be able to have a visual on what flights we have on the ground, specifically for JetBlue, how long they've been blocked out uh, before they're taking off, whether we're waiting for thunderstorms in the summer and de-icing in the winter, um, to have that information down to the minute will be um, game changer. We're looking at the weather 24 hours a day here. Um, we're always looking at it during, on shift and then you're looking at it for what's coming tomorrow, um, or even what's coming in the next hour or two. Um, and to have that uh, micro view of what's happening here in Boston is absolutely helpful. Um, you know, if, if it helps us keep things on time, keep things um, running, and keeps everybody safe, you know, that's, that's definitely something we see value in.